I'm Elizabeth Harper and I'm here with this week's Angel Messages. So what I'd like you to do is place one or both of your hands over your heart, just like angel wings. Invite your angels to guide you to either message one, two or three, a message that comes from their heart to yours. What you can also do is invite your angels to guide you to a place in the video where there's an extra special message for you. Just move your cursor along and when you intuitively feel it's time to stop, that's the place where your message will be. Okay, so we're using some of Doreen Virtue's cards. These are some of my favorite cards. I'm going to shuffle them and then see if you can intuit where I get them cards from. I'm going to open them up, fan them up, see if you can intuit where I'm going to pick the cards from. All right, message one. <laughs> this happens every time, doesn't it? I shake. Message one. Ooh, I can see that one. Message two. Let's see, message three. Where is this coming from? A little bit there. All right. So our first message is courage. This is from Archangel Ariel and it says be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Now when you look at this card very strong wings right here and then there's a lion right behind. That lion of course is a symbol of courage. When I feel into this card I feel as if this week you need to focus just on one thing that you may have had your focus all over the place your intention all over the place that maybe you don't know where you're going or what you're doing because there's too many things going on so my sense with this is <laughs> just to get one thing that you that is a priority for you or is something that you've been wanting to get around to doing and you just can't because too many other things going on. My feeling is that the courage part is being courageous and saying no to everything else that doesn't, it's not that it doesn't matter, it's just that it's, it maybe all those other things can come next. There's one thing that needs your focus right now. That's what I'm feeling when I look at this card for you. And I feel that the lion aspect, that courage behind, is you standing your ground and being courageous because it takes courage just to narrow it all down to one thing. Because we get into this place of thinking, oh, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I've got to do the other, help people, you know, there's so much to do. And then we get into a bit of a tiz I'm sensing with this that that courage is again just to narrow everything down to one thing and not to go into fear. This vibration, this kind of golden energy can link in with the solar plexus, that's where your power is, that's where that courage is. To release the fear about all that other stuff. It, it feels like the simplicity that is needed for you this week. All right. Okay. I feel that's the message. Okay. Our next card, wasn't that one? It was the one underneath. Is career transition. That's interesting. So Archangel Samuel. Archangel Samuel is that angelic vibration of love. When you look at this, there's this flower right here at the heart that energy is opening up and look at these there's almost a sense of a v right there isn't it, with with victory and this when i look at it you know the image of it it almost looks like a like a grid like a symbol that you would put a, a grid on that pattern that you would put a, a grid on sacred geometry the message on the card is your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. When I look at this, it's very gentle, it's very soft. There's a red energy that 
the angel is wearing that red is about moving forward red is the root chakra it's that first vibration that first energy then this rest of the pattern here is gold red and gold are i am colors right behind the angel at the nape of the neck of the of the winged it's the winged energy that nape of the neck is a, a psychic vibration as as well it's a an opening up of that psychic energy i'm feeling with this with the career transition you know it doesn't necessarily have to be career it, it could be that you are realizing intuitively and psychically that there's a path for you that is opening up and it just requires a decision possibly for you to start making plans to move towards that. It doesn't have to be some big career transition now but I do feel that it's about you making steps to move towards it that's that red energy that's that golden energy as well it's like a golden opportunity and it feels like something around you is going to help you with that as well you know when you make an intention when you say okay this is what I'm going to do you find that the universe supports you it puts things in your path to help you lead you toward that destination that you're focusing on I feel with this as well that your heart is coming to that place where you are ready to embrace this career this project this again doesn't have to be a career transition it could be a, a path into a particular project that's part of your heart energy whatever it is there's a golden opportunity that's emerging this week and I feel that golden opportunity you see these golden lines coming out it's like you open up and then everything else starts to open up so you make that decision then everything else starts falling into place one last thing because I mentioned sac sacred geometry I really feel that there is a pattern that's coming in here. There's an energy that's coming in here that's going to help you. It may be worth checking out crystal grids or creating some kind of sacred geometry pattern around you or, or in your life to support you, to help you with that next step. All right. So our final card is patience <laughs> it's interesting how often this card comes up patience so when you look at her she is watering a garden and when you water a garden you've planted seeds or you've planted seedlings and you're watering them and you're allowing them to grow those seeds can be your ideas your thoughts your positive thoughts but you may also be planting negative thoughts negative ideas so those are those weeds possibly that need to just come out of that garden. And I feel that with the patience, I'm going to read the card in a second, uh, in a moment, that patience is about you being patient with yourself. That this isn't just about seeds being planted and growing and you're watching them grow and you're really excited about that. This is also about weeding out things that are getting in the way of whatever it is you're trying to grow. Watch your thoughts, watch your language, watch your actions this week. See if everything you're doing is nurturing your way of being, your purpose, your path, whatever it is, your heart desires. Make sure that everything that you're doing is nurturing that. And if it isn't, then don't beat yourself up about it. Just notice it and make an intention to change it. So on the card, it says, it's from Archangel Jophiel. Jophiel is an angel of beauty. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Now, when I look at this card, I'm actually seeing 
a crystalline vibration in her there there's a little cupid and there's also this lovely energy of lilac and coral this is in the tulips in the flowers in the bottom of lilac and coral those two colors can come together around you transforming a vibration within you that is connected with love and your worthiness of receiving love. When you've planted seeds, sometimes we can get into this place of thinking that why would they grow for me? Why would they grow? Why would I be able to receive something because I'm not worthy to receive it? You know, I might not be thinking the exact same words, you know, uh, around being worthy, but I feel that I feel there's something here around the weeds being worthiness and releasing that energy, plucking that energy out around unworthiness. So that you can open to receive the love that you deserve. And that love is connected with the growth of whatever it is you're focusing on. The Cupid vibration that's in there, I feel, is about that love, not just for yourself, but it's the love for everything that you're creating around you. When you put love into everything, then the universe supports that, supports the blessing, supports the, the growth of that energy for you. If you think that you don't deserve that love, then the universe will support that too. And I feel that that's one of the weeds. And again, don't beat yourself up about it. Just notice it and make an intention to open your heart, to receive the love and to affirm, I am worthy. I am worthy of love. I am love. I love myself. And I feel the universe will support that energy for you as well. And huge change will happen as a consequence. Okay, that's it for this week's angel messages. I hope you enjoyed them. Now, you may have noticed my bracelets here. I have them in my store. These are my Archangel bracelets. Do check them out. You'll see a link in the description. Also, make sure to get your free angel prayer. You'll see a link for that in the description too. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if the messages resonated for you and please share this video with your friends. Let's share the angel love. I will see you next week. Lots of angel blessings to you. <laughs> Bye.